hi guys in this video i will show you how to use data table in laravel application so in this example we will use data table for user listing so let me go here and you can see that i already downloaded fresh laravel 11 application and already set up the database so first of all we will create a user controller and route so let me go here and create one controller so let me make it clear and php artisan mac controller and user controller yeah now its controller is created so if i go here and if i go to the app and http there is a user controller so now let me go and create one route so if i go here and app http controllers and then i will say like a user controller okay and now let me create one get route so let me go user get users and then i will say user controller and i will define index method i also give the name of the route so i will say users dot index okay and just save it now if i go to the controller i need to create index method so let me create it so let me go and create index i will give the argument as a request object request and then simply return view okay so i will create users view okay now if i go here into the resource view i will create one users view so save it and users dot blad dot php okay now let me get started and let me give the title so data tables example okay and i will use bootstrap 5 so make it like proper design so let me go here and you can see i already have a cdn here so i will just copy and add here okay and then you can see here i will add another div and i will add like container class container and inside the container i will say h2 i will make it margin top 5 and then i will just simply add the title laravel data tables example then i will create a, another div and class and there will be a card inside the card i will add like a card body then i will create one table and i will give the bootstrap class table table dash bordered bordered and then i will t head t head i will just define another row here and with the i will just add name and email for now okay so save it and i will add like t body and yeah I will keep make it empty and let's run and let's the layout we are going right way or not so let me run kabana again php artisan serve and then go here and let me go to the users get route and here you can see that name and email, name and email is coming now we are going to use yazra data tables for the data table so if i go here into the yazra uh, data table website here is the command like composer command to install yazra data table so let's copy it and let's clear and install it so click here let's wait a moment to install the yazra data tables okay now it's stored let me clear it and now let me go here we added already bootstrap css but we also need like data table js and css you can also use the npm but i'm going to use cdn so you can see that data tables main.js so for bootstrap so i'm just going to add then i'm going to add jquery cdn so i will copy and paste it and then i'm going to use data table js and data table bootstrap 5 supported js so i just copy and add here now i'm going to add the code for the script so i will say like script then i will say like document document dot ready and then i will say function and that function is over now i will give the name of the table like i will add the class like data table class okay and just use that class to add data tables object over there so i will say like dot data tables okay and now i mean go here save it and then i will go like we are already going server side so i will add like processing 
say sync equal to true and then i will say like server side that should be true and we need need to add ajax method so here i'm going to use we already give the route name so i will use directly route here so we don't have to worry about like a url and all the things so i will just give the route name you dot index and then i will simply give the columns columns and then i will define the array and then i will say like data data i will make it like name name will be the name and the next will be the email okay right now we have just two field email and here will be the email okay that's it here so let me go to the controller in the controller i will first of all you can see that here once page will be run at the time ajax will be called so if i go to the controller in the same method i will check if there is a request is the ajax then it should be written data table json so go and request ajax if request is ajax then it should be returned users okay so i will see user query and yeah so i am going to use here user so i will use the namespace as well so app models and user okay save it and now let me return data tables of user that means I use the query so that way it automatically run the another query and all the things mac true and save it okay so let me use the data tables above as well so let me use save and let's see okay and let's see here let me run the okay sir let me go here and let me run the project yeah you can see that there is nothing so let me go here what happened so you can see that there is a data tables is a not function so i think there is a data table so if i go here and remove this one because uh, let me confirm it yeah data table so let me refresh it again you can see that okay now there is another error so let me go here what happened so let me go database storage and there is a log file and there's a user is undefined so maybe yeah we just need to define users so save it and refresh again yes but there is no data in the table so let me add some data into the users table using the tinker command so let me go and php artisan tinker now let me create user factory and like count i will create 25 users so then i'll select create and save yep that created now let me run again the command so that is insert and refresh it yes here it is the name and email now i also want to add the number column here so let me go here and add another column number column so what i will do so first of all i need to add auto index here so like add index column and then save it and then i will go here and i will define another column here like number and then i will add another here like data there will data table and row index and then another data and dt underscore row index index okay so let me just copy this one and paste because i made a mistake here and at the end a comma so let me go here and simply refresh it you can see that one two three four five you can see that you can easily search and everything you can do it yeah it works so you can use th this way the data table in laravel 11 application for a beginner if you like the video then please like us and uh, please if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe us thank you so much for watching